This is a WSLS 10 special live presentation, Virginia's Veterans Parade. Sponsored by FNS Building Innovations, Prilliman Mechanical Heating and AC, Shively Electric, and Big Lick Pizza Kitchen. Now join us as we honor Virginia's veterans. Good morning and welcome to the Virginia's Veterans Parade live broadcast here on WSLS 10. Also live streaming on our website, WSLS.com. I'm Brittany McGraw. And I'm John Carlin. And Brittany, it's just a little bit nippy today. Just with a there, little. There are a lot of people up and down Jefferson Avenue there here today are. to honor our veterans. And that's what we're doing. We're coming to you live. We're in downtown Roanoke today as the parade honoring our country's heroes is just set to begin. We just had a nice fly over from a couple of uh, Air Force jets and uh, we almost couldn't hear for right. just a second, <laughs> but, uh, but everything is doing good and we're uh, doing well and we're ready to get underway in just a few minutes. Yeah, we're excited. We have live pictures that you'll get to enjoy up and down the parade route, so you will not miss the action from start to finish. We're going to show you everything. 10 News anchors Jenna Zibton and Patrick McKee are also along the parade route. They are going to be introducing you to some of our veterans throughout the morning. And right now we want to hand things over to Patrick because we'll be having a playing of our national anthem. Patrick? Guys, good morning to you. I can tell you, there were just 30 seconds ago, there was a lot of excitement here during that flyover. As things got quite loud and the cheers really going up here. So certainly an exciting thing to see at our parade this morning. Behind me, the 29th Infantry Division Band, they are joining us this morning. And as they always do, they kick things off with our national anthems, playing in front of an audience of veterans just outside of Market Square, where there was just a great meet and greet this morning. So uh, we are going to kick things off off with our national anthem uh, and get this parade underway. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as the 29th Division Band plays the national anthem. <laughs> Please be seated. Before the first units round the corner, I want to recognize our special guest, all the veterans in attendance today, including those seated right here in the reviewing area. We thank you for your service to our great country. We thank you for your sacrifices, and we will always... All right, so... Uh... Thank you so much. Uh, we are all started with the national anthem yeah. and hearing some tributes down on the market, but we've got a parade coming down the street towards us. And there are some folks here that we want to thank some of the organizers for today's event as we watch the Marines make their way toward us here. Yeah, we also want to give a spe special thank you to all the people who are lining the parade route this yeah. morning to show yeah. their support as well as all of you watching this morning and especially to our sponsors who have helped to put together this day of action packed events all to help honor those who have served our country there was a meet and greet this morning 9 30 this morning for people to have an opportunity to say thank you and that everyone. was down on the city market and i believe inside where it was nice nice and warm but i'll tell you what there is a good crowd along the street here today 
But we are ready to get this parade started and I see some flashing lights and I see our first entry coming down the road and I'll tell you a little bit about them as they get a little bit closer to us here. This is the United States Marine Corps active duty and reservist Marines from Bravo Company. This is the 4th Combat Engineer Battalion of Roanoke, uh, along with veteran Marines from Marine Corps League Detachment 426 of the Roanoke Valley. And believe it or not, tomorrow, November 10th, Marines all over the world will celebrate, Brittany, the 244th birthday of the beloved Marine Corps. Well, one of the places that I worked prior to being uh -huh. in Roanoke was in New Bern, North Carolina. We also covered Jacksonville, where uh -huh. you have lots of Marines who are there at Camp Lejeune. So it is an honor for us to be able to honor them as they celebrate so many things this weekend. Well, it, it really is. Uh, and I tell you, these guys are, uh, you know, the Marines have a great reputation mm -hmm. and it's well deserved. They're, they're the first ones in. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, what, what the Marines do is so critical to the success of all of our military operations. And, uh, and you know, by the way, back in 1775, the Marines were formed. It was in uh, Tun Tavern in Philadelphia, and that was during the American Revolution. So happy birthday to the Marines and uh, Semper Fidelis. And here they come walking down the street right now to get our parade kick started today. So, yes. uh, so happy. To, uh, to have the Marines here today. They got some kind of a dog. Right, that's what I was going to ask. And Do we see a, a four legged friend who is yeah, with them? Yeah, it's a little bit too far away for me to figure out the significance of the dog, but I can guarantee if the Marines think that dog's important, it's important. <laughs> right, it very, it very much is. Yeah, so uh, they're being uh, led off by, it looks like a, a motorcycle, probably from the Roanoke City Police Department with the flashing lights in my eyes. I can't read the logo on it, but, uh, but here they come. So, and then the flyover this morning was amazing. Uh, of course, that happened just as, right as, we, as, we, were, were as we were air. coming on the air. Everybody down here got to see them. They were very low over the buildings here in downtown mm -hmm. Roanoke. Right. You were, I mean, it was just a, a look of awe and just amazement when you were watching them as they, right. they went over. Well, you know, I don't know. I'm one of these suckers. I always get chills when I'm at a stadium yeah. or a football game or whatever, and they do the flyover. I always get them chills. My dad was a Navy pilot. Okay. Uh, he still talks about it to this day. He's 85 years old now. Um, and so, you know, airplanes were a big part of my life growing mm -hmm. up because my dad was always talking about it. But he was, uh, he used to fly airplanes across the North Atlantic from Newfoundland to England and turn around and come back and never land uh, searching for subs. Um, so anyway, we talk about airplanes a lot, but mm -hmm. I still get that feeling. So you notice that in, in my yeah, eyes. Yeah, but I mean, it yeah. was really, it was an impressive way to start the parade. And that's the first year that we've we've had a flyover like that to start the parade. Yeah, it was. Uh, and uh, we would hope very much that they would get here maybe just a fraction of a second later. We wouldn't be, uh, <laughs> you know, we'd be on the air already. But uh, that's okay. People down here saw it and we just appreciated the effort. So here comes the Marines. It looks like that uh, dog is uh, um, that's a English bulldog. Looks like a bulldog. Yeah, yeah. Looks like his name should be Winston, even if it's not. <laughs> Don't you think? Winston would be perfect. Yeah, Winston would be perfect for that dog. He looks very happy to be here, and and the Marines are are doing a good job. They've got their big vehicle out here. Uh, entry number one, proudly on the side, and. Uh, I don't know what that, that's some sort of an amphibious vehicle, I would say. Right. Uh, it doesn't look like anything would stop it, that's for sure. Not at all. No. Well, thank you so much to the Marines. And now next up to our next entry, it is the Vietnam Veterans of America, Roanoke Valley chapter. VVA's goals are to promote and support the full range of issues important to Vietnam veterans to create a new identity for this generation of veterans and to change public perception of Vietnam veterans. The organization's slogan, helping veterans, communities, and those serving in harm's way. If anybody ever got a raw deal, it was our Vietnam veterans. I'll just don't, I don't mind saying that. Uh, I, it's amazing to me that they still feel the need uh, after we've kind of figured out uh, that they got a raw deal and uh, if anybody is, is out there and doesn't appreciate what these guys went through over there in those jungles uh, They should certainly appreciate it now and we need to remember that uh, that they really did uh, 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 suffer a 
terrible, terrible tragedies over there, and then came home and people weren't grateful to them. Mm -hmm. and, and people need to be grateful. So, all right, let's move on to entry number three, making his way down the road to Vietnam veterans. This is Don Hanley. He is the captain, uh, United States Marine Corps. He completed rotary wing training at Naval Air Station Pensacola in 1968. Don was then transferred to an Air Force base in Vietnam. He separated from the Marine Corps in 1973 with over 20 air medals and a Bronze Star. And with him today is Gary Williams, Specialist 4 with the Mobile Communication Center attached to the 4th Infantry Division of the U.S. Army. As a skilled teletype operator, Gary kept command informed of in-country action and administrative needs, and we want to thank both of them for their service. Yes, thank you. It is always a delight when we see our younger generations, our young people who are interested in military service. And next, we have the Air Force Junior ROTC unit from Patrick Henry High School. Yeah, this is the uh, 2019 Distinguished Unit, led by a senior group staff, commanded by Cadet Colonel Wilton Kitt. That unit has eight flights with over 100 students and that is a lot of people who are interested in what's going on with the ROTC at Patrick Henry High School and they're playing some music right now so let's uh, listen to uh, a little bit of their performance. And we do want to tell you a little about the band as we will hear them again as they come through, but they are under the direction of drum majors Rose Harvey and Josh Smith. Again, we want to listen to the sounds of the Patrick Henry High School Marching Patriots. an opportunity to listen to the Patrick Henry High School Marching Patriots as they make their way down the parade route playing patriotic tunes. We just heard My Country Tis of Thee and this time we want to send it to 10 News anchor Jenna Zipton who has been talking with people along the parade route and talking with veterans. Jenna, how are things going? Things are going great down here. The parade just made its way down here. We're at the corner of Campbell and Jefferson where they turn and make their way down to the market. And we ran in to Chris Owens who was out for a jog and you actually did a destination jog this morning. That's right. That's so right. you brought your four year old and one year old. Why'd you want to bring them down here? Well, we have a brother in law that serves in the army. And, uh, you know, this morning we were talking about what the flag means and why we pledge of allegiance and you know what all that means and uh, so it's just a perfect morning for them to start to understand that freedom's not free and these brave men and women protect our country and so it's just really important that they understand that 
And you and I were talking before the parade started, the jets that flew over. Yeah. It was incredible. Yeah, that, we didn't expect that, but right through, right over Campbell, and you could feel the sound waves, very powerful, very impressive. Great way to just remind us again about our great men and women that, you know, the military. So that was incredible. Well, enjoy the parade and thanks so much for coming down. Brittany and John, it is going to be a fantastic morning out here as we're already seeing with the parade. So a man does a destination jog and ends at the parade, but you know, the whole thing about freedom isn't free. That's the message we all want to take away from Exactly. Today. Yep. All right, so we are on entry number seven now, passing our location. Great sounds from the marching patriots just making their way down the road. Uh, now this is post 64, 116th Infantry, 29th Division, Association of the U.S. Army. This is the same Army Division, by the way, of the famed Bedford Boys of World War II. If you live in this area, you're familiar with their story. And they still have a few uh, World War II veterans in this post. Uh, and the Bedford Boys, of course, of course, lost 19 of them, lost their lives on D-Day. Town of Bedford home to the National D-Day Memorial. Coming down the parade route now, here comes the Salem VA Medical Center and its employees that have the honor and privilege of caring for our nation's heroes. A little historical fact about Salem VA Medical Center. Did you know that the Medical Center is the only Veteran Affairs Medical Center in the country to be dedicated by a sitting U.S. President? How about that, Franklin and Delano Roosevelt, right? Yes, did that dedication on October 19th. 1934. All right, and we'll be back with more of the Virginia's Veterans Day Parade right after this. You're watching a WSLS 10 special live presentation, Virginia's Veterans Parade. And welcome back. We have some definite fan favorites that are coming down the road right now. I know John's a big fan of this. I like Mustangs. <laughs> I really do. Yeah. Driving down the road now is the Roanoke Valley Mustang Club. The club is organized to educate, promote, and encourage participation and ownership in the preservation, rebuilding, restoration, and remodeling of all model Mustangs and Fords or Ford-powered vehicles through civic, benevolent, charitable, social, and fraternal functions and endeavors. So, John, is that what we're going to see next in your fleet uh, of vehicles? Well, <laughs> if I could have that Shelby right there, that I, you know, nice. that, that, that would be okay. But, you know, I've done some work with this group over the years, and not only do they drive cars, but they raise money and they give it to local charities. So, uh, they take their love for the automobiles and they and they do something with it. So, I'm, I'm glad they're here in the parade today. Up next, we got the Cub Scout Pack 17 from St. John's Episcopal Church in downtown Roanoke. Kids out there having a good time, waving their flags. An interesting fact for you, during World War I, radio transmitters were regulated and scouts were called to look for unauthorized units. The scouts were used as message runners, coast watchers, and they were to be alert for men who had not reported for duty. More music is making its way down the road. Here comes the Cave Spring High School Marching Band. They would like to acknowledge the service of the men and women of our armed forces, both veterans and those currently serving. The band has marched every year in this parade to not only display civic pride, but to encourage students to properly recognize those who bravely serve to ensure our freedom. As they make their way to this intersection, we want to have an opportunity to listen to some of their music. And while they're making their way and getting ready to play, I've got to just throw out uh, some props to Brian Quakenbush, the band director, and uh, my son Tyler was in this band. So, All right, yeah. take a listen. Here they go. Thanks so much to the Cave Spring High School Marching Band for that. 
We now want to send it to 10 News anchor Patrick McKee, who has been live in the City Market Building this morning. Patrick. Guys, good morning to you. Finally got the parade down to us here at the end of the route, and certainly everyone enjoying what they're seeing so far. Dean is here with me. He served in the Navy, and you're down here. We see your face every year. You're the flag guy. You're yes, handing sir. out flags. Uh, what does it mean to you to see everybody waving our flag and supporting you folks who served our nation? This is one of the most inspirational, moving, exciting Happy things I do. I see all these guys out here that are the real deal. You know, I serve, but I was peacetime. There are people here that truly gave. And when you talk to them, it's just so moving. It's I do. I go from joys to tears to joys. It's awesome. You know, and it's one of the funnest things I do every year. You said that and playing Santa Claus, playing which you Santa do Claus. every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Dean, thank you so much for your service and thank for talking to us. Thank you. John and Brittany, I'll send it back up to you. All right, thank you, Patrick. Up next, we have the men and women who have sworn to serve and protect the Roanoke City community. This is the Roanoke City Sheriff's Office. As a diverse professional law enforcement agency, the department serves and protects every person within the city of Roanoke through quality law enforcement. Uh, of course, they also take care of the courts, their corrections, which is, of course, the jail, and civil process and customer-focused services. So the Sheriff's Office is making its way by our location now. And right behind them, the veteran Elks are now making their way down the road. They represent the veterans of the Roanoke Elks Lodge 197. They want to thank all veterans for their service. That's a beautiful old yellow, what is that? Is that a Cadillac? I mean, that might be a Buick. I think it's a Buick. And let's see, what's the, yep. Yeah, uh, that's Buick. a Buick. Yep. Of course, back then, they kind of, Cadillacs and Buicks looked a lot alike, and they put a different grill and different whatever. But yeah, that's a Buick uh, Electra, it says on the side. Beautiful old car. All right, up next is the New Freedom Farm. New Freedom Farm is honored to have a Gold Star mother, uh, Becky Lawish. Her son, Michael, was killed in the line of duty in March of 2003 as, as our VIP in the uh, parade today. Marching in the parade today are over 15 veterans from New Freedom Farm. And this float represents 22 veterans, five first responders, and one active duty who take their lives uh, very seriously. Uh, they, they, they risk their lives daily for our country. New Freedom Farm is located in Buchanan, and they have uh, their founder is 100% disabled service connected veteran, and she has learned the value of peer to peer support. Next, we have Girl Scout Troop 94 of Venton making their way down our parade route. Joe Black, the junior Girl Scout leader, is a retired U.S. Navy veteran and now proudly serves as a Girl Scout volunteer. Troop 94 does a lot more than just sell cookies, although when they do sell cookies, yeah. all the Girl Scouts, it's delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> we all love that. We buy them, we eat them. Yeah. And uh, we love the Girl Scout cookies, for yes, sure. Yes, but through selling cookies uh, and other other efforts, they are building our future leaders with courage, character, and confidence. A lot of entrepreneurial efforts now with the Girl Scouts that they're encouraging their members to get involved with. Well, that's what it's all about. Hey, up next we have the Patriots standing together. They totally support our military veterans who have served and continue to serve. And they wanted us to say on their behalf, God bless America. And directly behind them is the Buffalo Soldiers Motorcycle Club, Roanoke Chapter. It's an organization of professional men and women that are dedicated to the sport of motorcycle riding and safety. They ride motorcycles to represent the horses that were ridden by the Buffalo Soldiers during the 1800s. Their objective is to educate those that are unfamiliar with the racism sacrifices and hardships that the Buffalo Soldiers of the 9th and 10th U.S. Cavalries had to endure. Good looking motorcycles out there today, Brittany. Yes. Yeah. And I notice uh, at least one of them is wearing a face mask because it's a little chilly well, to be out there on two wheels today. <laughs> right. right. It is a little chilly out here. Right. But. Okay. Also making their way is Optical Cable Corporation. That is a locally grown Roanoke Valley business since 1983. 
Optical Cable Corporation is a leading supplier of rugged tactical fiber optic cables. And I know uh, enough about that to tell you that a lot of the signals that they get back from the front that the soldiers use to make good command decisions, is that all that information is transferred along those military grade cables that come from optical cable right here in Roanoke. And more music coming down the road right now. This is the very famous VMI Regimental Band and Pipe Band. The VMI Regimental uh, are just known. They play playing parades all over the United States. And throughout history, the bagpipe has been used as an instrument of war. Its sound can inspire troops into battle while simultaneously instilling fear into the hearts of the enemy. But uh, I guess we are hearing some bagpipes in there along with uh, some more traditional <laughs> yes, instruments. I can right. hear them. Yeah, this is directed by Major Bert Mitchell. Keeps the tradition alive and instilling pride in the Corps of Cadets is a regular feature on the post parade. So let's listen in. the sounds of VMI Regimental Band and Pipe Band. We're now going to take a little bit of a break and then we'll be right back. You're watching a WSLS 10 special live presentation, Virginia's Veterans Parade. Yes, hello and welcome back to the Virginia's Veterans Parade. We appreciate you joining us here on WSLS 10. We've seen so many just wonderful Parade yeah, participants people have and... really gone all out for this. And Brittany, look at this unbelievable truck. Yes. Unreal. Well, first, we want to <laughs> let you know the Virginia Museum of Transportation is hosting Military Appreciation Day after the parade to honor both veterans and active duty military. And those people will get free admission. So military vehicles and World War II uniforms will be on display, including a 2007 Ride for Freedom Volvo VNL 670 model. The one-of-a-kind truck honors U.S. military personnel taken as prisoners of war or missing in action through a custom collage featuring imagery from Desert Storm, Operation Iraqi Freedom, and Operation Enduring Freedom, which is what you just saw. All right, I'll tell you what. Uh, so we're on, uh, we're gonna go ahead and toss it down to Jenna Zipton, who's down on the corner, Jenna. Fox is with me right now. He is the vice president and general manager of Elbit Systems of America Night Vision. And uh, as you can hear, the band is coming by. So hopefully, there we go. Okay, they just passed. We heard them, and now we're going to hear from Eric. So new name, but same stuff that you've always done. That's right, Jenna. Yeah, so we make night vision goggles here in Roanoke. Uh, we've been in the area for 60 years, still making the same product. We've changed our names a few times over the years, um, but now is Elbit America still doing the same thing, just new brand. And you just got a new contract, so what does that mean? Yeah, so really exciting for the whole Elbit America family. We have a new contract to support the Marine Corps, um, almost $250 million over five years uh, with the most advanced night vision capability out there today. So we're doing some hiring right now, um, have uh, completed some, still some to go, but really important for the community and the Elbit America family to support our Marine Corps. And Eric, as a Navy veteran, thank you so much for your service. I hope you're enjoying today. Thank you. Back to you, John and Brittany. 
so as we continue to honor those who serve, some of the some of the fun things about the parade have been the music that we've gotten to hear. The music is great. And the candy. The candy. <laughs> uh, the, the floats have been very generous to John and Brittany today, yes. for sure. Great music coming down this stretch. These are the talented men and women of the Glenver High School Marching Band. Let's listen in. from the Glenver High School Marching Band. Organizers, band members, and their families are excited to show their support for veterans today. Entry number 35 is Alexis Carroll, Teen Miss Virginia Armed Forces Honor, and Emily Arthur, Junior Miss Virginia Armed Forces Honor. Honor, honor. Uh, and they are having a great day out here on the parade today as well. Next up is Scouts BSA. It's a year-round program for youth 11 to 17 years old that provides fun adventure, learning, challenge, and responsibility to help them become the best version of themselves. In Scouts BSA, young men and women go places, they test themselves, and they have one-of-a-kind adventures that can't be found anywhere else. And the kids are looking good this morning. They got up nice and early, and yes. they're, they look to be uh, fairly happy. Somebody wearing their WSLS glasses. Right, and they sunglasses. listen, everybody is so bundled up. Yeah, they are bundled up. <laughs> they're having a big time. Hey, how about we talk about some first responders, shall we? Uh, making their way down the road, Roanoke Fire EMS Department, uh, the station number one. The department's an internationally accredited uh, career department serving 43 square miles. The department offers a number of services, including fire suppression, medical care, fire investigations, fire inspections, swift water rescue. These guys are on the news almost every night. We're just so appreciative for what they do. They also offer fire prevention and safety programs. And you know those guys are out there polishing on these trucks. Yes. Before the parade today. <laughs> they because look it's, good. It's always a big draw, especially with the younger kids. They love to see the big trucks. Yeah, there's the big ladder truck, uh, truck number one. And that is, uh, you know, it's just very impressive. Very impressive. And we're so appreciative for everything our first responders do. And how about if we go to entry number 39, the American Red Cross of Roanoke in Greater New River Valley. The American Red Cross offers confidential services to all veterans and their families by connecting them with local, state, and national resources through its network of chapters in communities across the United States and offices on military installations worldwide. The Red Cross is a military-friendly employer with a long history of serving America's military families during and after their service, including a commitment to hire more and more veterans. Being honored in a 1939 Packard Coupe is Bill Stetson of Blue Ridge, serving in Germany in the U.S. Army, 101st Artillery, 35th United States Armored Division. Bill was awarded Best Team Commander three consecutive years, 1966 through 1968. Today, Bill is a history teacher in our school system. Thanks for your dedication to our freedom today, Bill, and thanks for all that you've done. And how about that 1939 Packard, huh? There you go. Very nice. Yeah. 
Next up, we have the Blue Ridge Christian Riders. The basic purpose of this chapter is to support the National Christian Motorcyclists Association effort of sharing and showing the love of Jesus Christ to motorcyclists and supporting this ministry through regular financial support to national. How you doing today? Good. Good to see you. All right. I'm just. I'm sorry. I was talking to some of the right, veterans was, as they went by. That right. He was yeah. talking to some of our veterans and our parade I, look, participants. You know, it takes takes everything to make these parades happen. But let's look at entry number 43 now, making the way down the road. The ladies of Miss Roanoke Valley. Uh, we have Teen in Training, Mackenzie Lucas. Some princesses, including Everly Boswell and Annalise uh, Van Lind, our Miss Roanoke Valley Outstanding Teen, Jordan Walker as well. It's always nice to have the pretty ladies out here. Miss Roanoke Valley, uh, Dominga Murray is also out there. Yes. Again, it is always a delight when we see our younger generations and our young people who are interested in serving our country and are interested in military service. And next up, coming down our parade route, is the Air Force Junior ROTC unit from William Fleming High School. This 2019 Distinguished Unit is led by a senior group staff commanded by Cadet Colonel Karen Garcia Paz. This unit has six flights with more than 100 students. And they're looking sharp this morning as they make their way to our location. Of course, the parade is coming down Jefferson Street in Roanoke, and then they take a sharp right-hand turn on Campbell Avenue and make their way down to the area, the Market Square area, in front of Center in the Square. And uh, there's a big crowd here along the streets today, seeing the ROTC unit come by, and down where uh, Jenna and Patrick are bringing you some interviews during the parade, there's even more people. So, right. big turnout for the Veterans Day Parade today. And the weather has not been quite as chilly as we thought it was going to be. No, it has not. Although it was, it was 24 degrees when I got up this morning. Oh, okay. So, you know, <laughs> and uh, folks, you can't see Brittany, but she's got her ski pants on. Oh, this my morning. goodness. Just, yes, just, I have I, so I, many layers yes, on. Yes, right, right. This is the William Fleming High School Marching Colonels coming down the road right now. And if our information is correct, they're going to play a little number for us. And we're going to give them an opportunity to be on television doing their performance. So you can see more of the colonels this upcoming Monday the 11th as they will honor our veterans with the ceremony held at William Fleming High School, the band under the direction of Mr. Michael Sanchez. All right, we are going to take a little break right now, but we'll be right back with more from the Virginia's Veterans Parade. You're watching a WSLS 10 special live presentation, Virginia's Veterans Parade. And welcome back to Virginia's Veterans Parade. We are live this morning here in downtown Roanoke and the uh, Healing Strides entry is walking by our position right now, or should I say riding? They are riding. They are riding, at least a couple of them are. The horses at Healing Strides help veterans both on the ground and in the saddle. 
They're down in Boone's Mill. Healing Strides has been serving the Roanoke Valley and surrounding counties since 1991 as an equine assisted activities and therapies program. They probably help veterans of all ages and their families. If you or someone you know might benefit from these services, please reach out and they will give you a tour and you can learn more. And we've done a lot of stories yeah. with these guys over the years. They do amazing work. Right, lots of stories about how they have benefited so many veterans um, and helped them tremendously. Something about the horses, they just know when you're not feeling well and they can, they can change it all. So a little bit down the road, they did not want to scare the horses, right. frighten them in any, in any sort of way. We have more music making its way down the road. It's the 68 member Pride of Northside marching band from Roanoke under the direction of Tim Galeon. Northside is honored to pay tribute to America's veterans today. And we've really enjoyed listening to the music from all of the high school bands that are taking part in today's parade. All of them out here to honor those who have served our country. You know, and it's amazing the, the support that the local high schools are giving to the veterans today. Uh, we've just had no shortage of bands. And you know, these are kids that have to get up early on a Saturday morning, come out in the cold, uh, and they, they really, to put their best foot forward as it were. They do, and we're gonna hear some of their music right now. Sounded great this morning. And right behind the band is the Outlaws Cruisers Car Club. It's a group of car lovers and their families that come together for fun and fellowship. The club holds an annual to raise money to help local charities. They've contributed to Wounded Warrior, We Care, Rocky Mountain Police Department, and have helped needy families at Christmas and Thanksgiving. And those oh. are definitely some good looking cars. Those are some good looking cars. Look at that old vet right there. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. The Outlaw Cruisers. Hey, you know, um, coming down the road behind them, is a group that uh, most people here know pretty well in Roanoke. And uh, as we take a look at the last of the Outlaw Cruisers going by, but here comes Black Dog Salvage. Uh, Navy veterans Mike Whiteside and Robert Culp, co-owners of Black Dog Salvage. Of course, they are known better as the hosts of the DIY Network television show, Salvage Dogs, and you can catch that Monday nights at nine o'clock. Mike Whiteside stopped by our booth. I talked to him for a little while. And that VW vehicle is something that they created for the show. <laughs> uh, and now it is something else. Mike has attached uh, television sets on either side of it. But I remember the show where he pulled up in that thing and it was barely running. And <laughs> now they've got they made a parade vehicle out of it. And they've got a nice veterans veterans. There's Mike with the black dogs right there. Hey Mike, how you doing? So there we are, black dog salvage. All right, and right behind them is the Tunstall Trojans Army Junior ROTC Battalion. This is the third year the battalion has participated in the Virginia's Veterans Parade. Honoring our veterans is one of the service learning projects the cadets conduct throughout the year. In honor of the 100th anniversary of Armistice Day and the end of World War I, the cadets will also participate in the Danville Veterans Day Parade, which is uh, tomorrow, and the National D-Day Memorial Veterans Day commemoration on Monday. The cadets are proud and pleased to honor our veterans every day of the year. Here we go again! Same old stuff again! 
And hot on their heels is Crisis Response International, a nonprofit charitable organization that mobilizes relief supplies, mobile kitchens, medical personnel, chaplains, and cleanup teams to assist people who are suffering around the world. They train individuals and churches to meet the unique needs that arise in urgent times of crisis and disaster. Since 2007, over 10,000 people have trained with them and they respond to things like the wildfires that have been happening in California, hurricanes Matthew, Michael, Harvey, Sandy, Maria, you name it. Also the tornadoes in Missouri, Oklahoma, and Alabama, Crisis Response International. They call themselves CRY, headquartered in Blue Ridge with a mission base and training facility just 15 minutes from downtown Roanoke. So that's Crisis Response International, or CRY. And rolling up the road right behind them is Rebath of Southwest Virginia. They offer the restoration of bathtubs, bathroom remodeling, and acrylic products. Rebath also remodels mainly many disabled veterans bathrooms yearly through the federal HISA program and with the Virginia State Freedom Grant program. So some great work that Rebath is doing to help to help our veterans and to honor our veterans and those who have served. <laughs> And up next is the Life Care Medical Transport Group with their brand new ambulance, Life Care Medical Transport's uh, Medic 54, dedicated to the men and women who have served or are currently serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. And they stopped by earlier, told us all about all the places that they go to carry our veterans back and forth to the VA hospital in Salem. And it's very easy. We, we know when the bands are coming up because yes. we hear them coming. <laughs> and they sound great. We got William Burke coming down the road right now. This is the Marching Terrier Band. Marching Terrier is directed by Mr. Dan Flybond and Ms. Denise Aspel. The Marching Terrier is performing Marches of the Armed Forces. Let's listen in. of the William Byrd High School Marching Terrier Band. Thanks so much for taking part in the parade this year. Coming up next, last but certainly not least, is our parade sponsor, Element Systems of America. The company is a world leader in night vision technology, providing integrated solutions that meet customers' evolving challenges. During its 60-year production legacy in the Roanoke Valley, the company has secured more than 90 night vision related patents and supplies nearly 100 allied countries with their products that protect and save lives. Sponsoring the Virginia's Veterans Parade is one of the many ways Elbit Systems of America night vision supports local veterans in the community. Today, nearly 100 employees and their families have volunteered their morning to make sure and to make this parade possible. And their sign says, Veteran Strong, thank you for your service. And that's really what this parade, Brittany, is, is all about today. It's uh, making sure that we don't forget the veterans, that we don't forget that freedom isn't free, and 
we want every that's why we do this parade on channel 10 we want everybody to remember that yes and as we were preparing for the parade one of the people that we interviewed just put it very simply when you see a veteran when you see those who serve just say thank you a simple thank you goes a very long way yeah i just like to when i see a veteran i always thank them for their service anymore it's something that maybe i took for granted in my younger years but but certainly not anymore so we hope you have enjoyed channel 10's coverage of virginia's Veterans Day Parade. Yes, we hope you have a wonderful and warm and safe Veterans Day weekend. Thanks for joining us. This has been a WSLS 10 special live presentation, Virginia's Veterans Parade, sponsored by FNS Building Innovations, Prilliman Mechanical Heating and AC, Shively Electric, and Big Lick Pizza Kitchen. Thank you for joining us.